Hey everyone, it's Sarah. This month I'm going to be focused on the topic of inspiration. And today I'm going to talk about specifically what should you write about. Now I'm going to discuss five different ways that you can find something to write about. Whether it's coming up with a new idea for a short story, a novel, a poem, a play, anything. Now, the first thing that you can do is write about life experiences. I just attended a workshop this past weekend, actually, in Atlanta, where we were discussing how to turn our life experiences into fictional stories. Now, there are several ways that you can do this. Usually it involves a combination of things, like you might combine two or three people you know into one character, you might use snippets from one memory and combine it with another. You might use someone else's experience. There are several ways that you can do this. One thing that you want to keep in mind when you do this is that you want to tell the best story. So some people have a tendency to feel like they need to write creative nonfiction and they need to be truthful to what happened when what happened was not necessarily the most interesting story. So you might start with the memory of, say, moving to a new city for the first time, or something interesting that happened to you, but don't be afraid to invent things and create characters and situations that didn't actually happen. Now, I think to some degree, everything we write has an element of our own experiences in it. Even if you're writing science fiction or fantasy, there's usually some truth you can find in the characters or the themes that relates to your own life, but that's another topic altogether. If you're thinking about drawing from your own experiences to write fiction, you might want to make a list of interesting memories, interesting situations that you've been in, just anything interesting that's ever happened to you that could maybe spark a new idea. Another thing that could inspire you would be news stories. So the next time you're checking CNN.com or watching the evening news, if you see a story that really resonates with you and you think it's interesting, let's say it's a story about something going on in Russia and you think it's a really interesting story that really resonates with you, you might think about basing the next thing that you write in Russia loosely using elements of the story that you originally read. There are all kinds of stories on the news every night that would be great launching pads for a fictional story. So just keep that in mind and maybe start watching the news from the perspective of which stories are interesting to you, which stories resonate with you, which stories uh, have an emotional connection to you, things like that. Another thing that you can do is to start with an image. One of the great things about sites like Pinterest and Tumblr, things like that, is that you can just go on there and browse through different images and see if any of them look interesting to you. You might get an entire news story based on a photograph of the way someone is looking at another person. You might see a photograph of an old woman and come up with an entire backstory and figure out who she is and what she wants. So it might be worth it to just browse through these websites and see what images make you think, what images inspire you. Another thing you can do is to use writing prompts. Now there are a million writing prompts anywhere on the internet. There are a ton of writing prompt books. There are mailing lists with daily writing prompts. And it might be something as simple as a sentence like, she said you would be here. Or something as complex as giving you an entire situation. There are lots of different options for this. So just play around with these and see if you can start finding writing prompts 
if any of them inspire you. I actually have a writing mailing list called The Daily Writer, where I send out daily thoughts about writing, writing tips, and sometimes this includes writing prompts, as well as opportunities and places you can submit and publish. I will leave a link down below if you want to check out that mailing list. It could be a really good resource if you're looking for writing prompts and writing tips. And the last thing you could do is to make a list of the things you believe in. I had a playwriting professor who had us do this at the beginning of the class, and if we got stuck, we could just go back to this list. What are the things that you believe in strongly? What are the causes that you believe in? Do you have any strong religious or political beliefs? A lot of my stories and things that I write, for example, have a message about the importance of art and how art can save people and really enrich our lives and experiences. That's a belief that I hold very strongly and it comes up in my writing a lot of times. So if you just make a list of the things that you believe in really strongly, you might find that one of those beliefs is something that you really want to explore in a story. Alright, that's five different ways that you can figure out something to write about and find your next creative writing project. Alright, that's it for me. Uh, this month I'm going to be doing videos all about inspiration, so you can look for another video from me next Wednesday. My video next week is going to talk about three ways that you can have more productive brainstorming. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these writing tip videos. I'm going to be doing these every week. And let me know down below if there are any tools that you use that I didn't talk about to find inspiration and to figure out what you're going to write about. I'm always interested to hear the process of different writers. Alright, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!